I recently came across an application that I thought was really neat and I wanted to share it with you guys on camera today. This application is called DevToys. What is DevToys? Well, according to their website, this is the Swiss Army Knife for Developers. It's a desktop app that helps developers in daily tasks. And we get a little screenshot here and you can see it's a multi-purpose tool, right? It's got a lot of things that it can do for you, but we're not going to take a look at screenshots. Let's actually take a look at the application. I've already got it installed. So let me go ahead and switch to this workspace where I've launched the DevToys application and immediately Wow, right? It's like crazy how much stuff there is in this one tool, right? So we have things like a, a base64 image encoder and decoder or a base64 text encoder and decoder. Uh, well, let's actually just start with that. Let's actually encode some text. So this is a line of text. You know, if I can actually type the word text properly, exclamation, and here is what it would be when encoded using base64 and obviously if i had something that was already encoded i could use the decoder to actually get the uh, original text back out let me click on all tools here to go back to the main screen some of the tools i've already played around with there is a markdown preview tool which is kind of cool and i don't typically work with markdown myself i do everything in emacs org mode but i do have an example markdown file that i keep on my system uh, just in case I need to do something with Markdown, for example, testing if this Markdown preview works. And it does, right? This Markdown preview is actually quite lovely. I can click the X here to get rid of that. And let's go back to all tools. Another one I've played around with a little bit is the text escape and unescape. So this would be something like, you know, this is a line of text and then new line. This is another line right and but we get the escape sequence the, for the new line the um, backslash in right well in the output here so this could be useful especially if you're dealing with a, a lot of text that does have a lot of escape sequences so again i'll click the x to clear that out but we've got all kinds of stuff here especially a lot of stuff for web development you've got uh, JSON converters, a SQL formatter, a regular expression tester. <laughs> You've got a lot of cool XML formatter, right? Uh, you got a lot of really neat tools if you're in that line of work. We got a color blindness simulator. Now this could be interesting. I've already used the tool once. I imported one of my thumbnails and it shows us how it would look with various forms of color blindness. So that is something that could be very useful, especially for folks that do work with uh, web development. You know, you're thinking about color schemes to use. Maybe, you know, that would be something you would find very useful. Scrolling down to some of the other tools. I mean, we have a million password generators on Linux. We can do this at the command line, really. But if we've got a password generator tool, also part of DevToys here. It looks like by default, they are doing a length of 30, but you can, of course, adjust the password length that you want generated. Uh, let me go ahead and go back to all tools and scrolling down. We have a lorem ipsum generator. And, you know, this is something that I often do. Sometimes I need placeholder text for various things. And, you know, this is nice to have because I can just hit the copy button. And now I've got the standard lorem ipsum, you know, just random Latin stuff here to, to paste as placeholder text in a website maybe that I'm working on. Or even, you know, just whatever it is, you know, a, a print article that maybe I haven't written the whole thing yet, but I just want some placeholder text in a spot for now. And it, it's not just lorem ipsum. If you actually click on the menu system, they have all kinds of placeholder text, uh, especially in various languages, which could be interesting because we've got obviously uh, Latin, but we've also got English, Esperanto, Hungarian, we got some French, we got some German. Now, when you're using these tools, now you can actually make some of these tools your favorite because there's so many tools, right? If you wanted to, you could always add a tool to a favorite. Let's add the Lorm Ipsum generator to our favorite tools. And now if I go back to all tools, now I have a favorite category. So we got the recents and the favorites. You also have the sidebar here where you can search for tools. They're organized by um, the type of tool they are. And you could of course do a text search for a tool and you can turn the sidebar off if you don't really need to see it or you can collapse it here, right? And this is actually a really neat little view. Yeah, 
That's very cool. One final thing I want to check out, if I scroll all the way down, we do have a manage extensions um, section here. So I'm assuming this is a way to install an extension, find more extensions online. Let me click that. You guys are not going to see it, but it did open a web page here where I could go, I guess, <laughs> import other tools, right? <laughs> this is really cool. I just, I'm blown away by how good this application is. I, I, this is really quite something. And we do have a settings uh, button here as well. So we could play around. I'm assuming with like some of the theming and, and things like that, which honestly, I think everything looks pretty good out of the box here. So this is Dev Toys. Right now you can see they're on version 2.0. I'm looking at 2.0-preview.8. And for me, I installed this from the Arch uh, user repository, the AUR. They do have Debian packages, uh, dev packs, uh, if you're on a Debian based system. And of course, I'm sure it's cross platform. I actually didn't check, but if I go back to the website for dev toys and I go to downloads, uh, yeah, we have windows, Mac. Okay. And of course, Debian slash Ubuntu and uh, from the Debian packages, of course, people in other Linux distributions, of course, can take the Debian archive and you know, do whatever they want with it. I'm sure that's all somebody did with the AUR package. It's just they extracted the Debian archive and, you know, they put it in the appropriate place on my Arch system. But yeah, Dev Toys, guys, check it out. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I want to thank the producers of this episode. Matt Steve, 40mm, Cap Caveman, Darloff Lee, Jersey Killer, Mark, Methos, Arian, Paul, Pete's Arch and Fedora, Realities for Less, Red Prophet, Roland, Morgento, and Ubuntu, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this quick preview of Dev Toys would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are all my supporters over on Patreon because I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like my work, want to see more videos about Linux, free and open source software like Diff Toys, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace, guys.